My brothers and sisters, today's first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes is one that we often hear at funerals. You see, there's two moments in our lives that we tend to reflect upon the sense of time, the gift of time, really, that God has given us, and what we do with it. At the beginning, at our baptism, as we contemplate the great unfolding of this new life, the possibilities it holds, and how that future will be made bright through various decisions. And of course, at the end, we look backward. Whether it's the long life that we celebrate and thank God for, whether it's a life that was taken too briefly, we feel that sense of time. My brothers and sisters, as much as we invest ourselves in time, as much as we try to cling to it, we realize it's something intangible, something that we live through, rather than attach ourselves too deeply to. The reality is, and we face it now as we continue to journey through this time of COVID, through this season, that we might wish the times were different, when things are good and stable and everything is unfolding nicely. Sometimes we don't even notice it. We don't even notice the unfolding at time. When things are challenging or confusing, it seems that time drags on and we simply want it to pass. We keep thinking to ourselves, there's going to be a greater time, a greater moment to come. My brothers and sisters, what God points us to is the reality that, yes, in life, there are high points, there are low points. There are times of prosperity and times of great trial. But what matters most is not what's happening in the world around us. What matters most is what happens inside each and every one of us. Because you see, no matter what the external is, no matter what the time brings, if we are rooted where it matters, then we might face times of prosperity, times of storm, but nothing will tear away the peace and the joy God created us for. This is part of the question that Jesus invites us to wrestle with in the gospel today. There is a parallel between the crowds and the disciples. The crowds don't understand Jesus. They're waiting for a Messiah, but a Messiah that they think is going to bring in the glorious time. What they fail to perceive is the glorious time comes when communion is established with loving God, regardless of what happens in the external world. The disciples begin to get it. Peter makes his wonderful profession of faith, and yet we know that even for him it's going to take some more time before he understands the true impact of his words. Jesus places the same question before us. Who do we say that he is? Do we truly trust what Jesus has told us in the scriptures, what he's made manifest through the teaching of the church he established? Do we truly trust that he is in fact the Son of God, the one who created all things, the one who called us into existence, the one who has the power to order our lives? Because if we trust that, my brothers and sisters, that thoroughly shifts our sense of time. If we know ourselves as loved into existence, then even in the darkest moments, it becomes easier to see and to trust the unfolding of God's grace. We know it might take some time before we see the whole plan laid out for us, the whole tapestry woven and unfurled, but we can trust, and that will give us the confidence that we need to journey even through the most difficult moments. Sometimes when we wrestle with time, it's a sign to us that we are entrusting and we aren't understanding who God has told us that he is and the relationship that he's made manifest before us. And so as we celebrate this Mass today and throughout this day, I encourage you, take a quiet moment, take some time, and look back. Look back at the unfolding of grace in your life, the unfolding of God's plan for you. Seek out those moments of light and rejoice in them and make that declaration of trust and faith at this good God who has blessed us with the time span of our lives, this good God who has created us for eternity, will continue to be with us, 
whether the external times are challenging or whether the external times are peaceful. 